Frankfurt shocked the entire league last week with their absolute dominance of Vienna. We're going to go through the X's and O's of the draw play that absolutely killed Vienna last week in Frankfurt. Jake Sullivan's going to have two options on this play. He's going to have both of his receivers running slants here. He's also going to have the option, if he doesn't like the slants, to hand the ball off to his running back. So basically, Sullivan is reading this defender, right? There's six guys in the box. We only have five guys blocking. So we don't like our numbers there. But if he flies out and takes the slant at all, now it's five on five. If he stays in the box, then the slant should be open. So they're going to run what a draw play here. And all it is, is it's called a fold block. So Joachim Christensen and their guard, their right guard are going to work together. And Joachim is going to block this one technique. And the guard will, that's why it's called a fold block, fold behind him and pick up this linebacker. It's a very well-designed play. It's hard to defend as a defense because you can't. You have to take away the RPO aspect of it. And if he comes out at all, now it's five on five. You have favorable numbers in the run game. And Frankfurt absolutely killed Vienna with this play last game. Offenses also like to run the draw to counteract a really good pass rush. In Vienna, they like their defensive ends in particular, like to get upfield and get upfield quick. The draw play is a good way to negate that type of pass rush. When Frankfurt runs this draw here, they're putting him in a, in a bind. He's got to make a choice. Do I stay in the box to stop the run or do I cover this bubble slant combination out here? Once he takes one step to cover the pass, that's enough for Jake Sullivan to know I'm handing the ball off. I have numbers in the box. It's five on five. And again, another first down pickup for Frankfurt on this draw play. Well, you know I can't go a week without talking about the Raiders pass game. And it's because it's so fun to watch. I love how they get to different concepts out of multiple sets, formations, um, and motions. It really keeps defenses on their toes. And I'll show you what I mean here. They're lined up in a bunch set to the quarterback's right, and it takes the Stuttgart surge a lot of communication to sort this out. You can see the linebackers pointing. You can see Malcolm Washington pointing. Right? They're trying to sort out who has who. It just makes life a little bit tougher on a defense. And what they're going to run is this guy in the in a bunch that is called the point. So the point's going to run an under route. They're going to clear out and run a post over top. And then they're going to run the number three receiver on a dig, and he's going to have the option to hook up. But it's the timing, the rhythm, the anticipation of Sean Shelton along with the savviness of his receivers to find open zones in um, zone coverage and sit down that makes them so difficult to defend and I'll show you what I mean when we watch this play. You can see what I mean here with the communication. Watch the corner and the linebacker communicate. Look at the linebackers and the safeties all pointing at each other. Right? They have to sort all of this out pre-snap and the Raiders do a good job of presenting multiple different formations and sets pre-snap to a defense and it makes it tough on a defense when you have to communicate. So what they're going to do is the man covering the point is going to try and get hands on just to disrupt the route a little bit and then he's going to take anything underneath. They actually, the surge actually do a pretty good job of sorting all of this out but the way this play works the reason this play works is because of Sean Shelton's eyes. Watch him take the snap and look to the left. Right? He knows the entire way that he's going to have an open zone right in here. That the post is going to take the safety in the corner out of the picture. 
the underneath the the tight end running underneath is going to take a flat defender out he needs to control this hook to curl defender which is this middle linebacker Ronnie Lakalaka who's one of the best linebackers in the league but even he can't handle Sean Shelton's eyes here right he's going to look to the left the entire way come back and throw it to his receivers right at the sticks it's a it's a simple you know 10 yard completion but I promise you that a lot of hours, a lot of film, a lot of time working with receivers went into making a play like this work. Um, and I also promise you that this play on paper is probably drawn up as more of a dig route with the option for the receiver to sit if he wants to. So really good job of sitting in that open window. And then of course, awesome job by the offensive line giving him time here. But he's going to look left, look left, come back, hold that linebacker, first down. Let's move on to the shootout in Istanbul. Clark, congrats on the MVP. He had a great game, seven touchdown passes. Anytime you can count touchdown passes um, in a single game on more than one hand, you had a heck of a day. I remember I threw for six in one game, and it felt like every other pass was a touchdown. Uh, I'm sure he felt the same way. Um, congrats to him. We're going to break down this play a little bit. Um, this was the opening score for the Rhine Fire, and the Rams are in cover two, which means the corner, the corners are responsible for the flats, and then each safety, it's called cover two, because you're splitting the field in half, right? Each safety is responsible for their half of the field, and the Rhine Fire are going to double up, double post concept. So on the outside, you have a post, and on the inside by the number two receiver, you have a post as well. And the reason this play works is because it puts this strong safety here in a really big bind, right? He has to choose between one. The corner is playing flats hard. So he's gonna be probably out of the picture. So he's gotta pick one. If he gets width and depth, well, then you should have the middle of the field open to hit that slot. Um, on the on the post, but if the safety attaches to that slot receiver on his post Then you have all this room to throw it over top on that deep post Let's watch it in full speed here. See how hard that corner is playing the flats He's not getting any depth at all So it's certainly cover two at least to that side of the field now We're gonna put that safety in a bind right whatever he chooses to do is wrong if he attaches to the slot We throw it over top if he gets depth and width then we should have the middle of the field open for that slot receiver uh, right here he doesn't get as much depth to take that outside receiver so clark is going to load up throw it deep uh, one of the probably easier touchdowns of both of their careers but this is a great play call for cover two 